AI Chatbots Go Mobile. Welcome to our YouTube channel. This video provides you with the current availability of ChatGPT, Gemini, and Copilot on mobile phones. The applications of AI chatbot technology take a significant leap forward as OpenAI introduced the ChatGPT app for iOS on May 18, 2023. This highly anticipated move comes on the heels of popular demand from users who love using ChatGPT on the go. This marks a notable step in making advanced AI chatbots accessible to everyone. The delay in the launch of the ChatGPT mobile app inadvertently sparked a gold rush of similar AI products. These rival developers use slightly misleading tactics to entice users into signing up for free trials, which then transition into recurring subscriptions, or by utilizing aggressive marketing tactics. Nearly all of these products feature the phrases, powered by ChatGPT, or powered by Google, in their product title or description. While technically true, they are not the apps developed by OpenAI or Google. We update this video series periodically, so make sure to subscribe to this channel for regular updates. For a limited time period, channel subscribers can email us at ytinsmarttechs at gmail.com to request private videos or playlists at no cost. Before the ChatGPT app made its grand entrance, Microsoft's Copilot had already landed on smartphones. Packed into the Bing app and the Edge browser app, Copilot lets you chat on the go. While it may not yet offer an impeccable user experience on smartphones, it's undeniably functional. Except for the user interface, Copilot operates identically on both PC and smartphone. Microsoft also made a separate app for Copilot so you can access Copilot on your mobile phone through a separate app. It appears that Microsoft is content with the current state of Copilot, as part of their new Bing strategy. Google's Gemini is another AI chatbot available for smartphones. You can go to gemini.google.com via the Chrome app and start chatting. You can also set your Chrome profile to this website so you can open Gemini easily when you touch Chrome anytime. The subscription level is the same as your PC. You can switch between Gemini and Gemini Advanced easily just like you do on PC. Note that Gemini is powered by the language model Gemini Pro, and Gemini Advanced is powered by Gemini Ultra 1.0. Google does not have a separate app for Gemini on the iPhone App Store currently. However, there are a number of apps on the App Store with names like Bard or similar, but they are not products of Google. That is probably why Google gave up the name Bard, and uses Gemini as its brand name instead. Google seems to be exploring alternative methods to optimize its AI chatbot app for smartphones. Google announced it will launch its AI chatbot app exclusively for Google's Pixel phones. The future of Google's AI chatbot app for smartphones remains somewhat speculative and uncertain. However, currently, you can access Gemini and Gemini Advanced via Chrome on any mobile phone, including iPhone, as described earlier. Smartphones differ significantly from PCs in both usage and design. However, there seems to be an undue emphasis on the notion that smartphone chatbots can function as a replacement for their PC counterparts. This perspective seems to miss the point. Currently, there are actually a number of AI chatbot apps available for mobile phones. In our earlier videos, we simplified the usage of AI chatbots into two modes. One, text processing mode, and two, query mode. While AI chatbots for smartphones will undoubtedly play a critical role in query mode, their functionality in text processing mode will likely be more selective and different. ChatGPT and Copilot both talk with users through text and can be connected to the microphone. Copilot even mirrors the user's input, responding in either text or voice depending on which one is used. On the other hand, ChatGPT sticks to text responses, no matter the input. The arrangement for Copilot's prompt and response manner is rational. As such, for lengthy responses, the user may enter the prompt via text to trigger the response in text when using Copilot. Notably, ChatGPT utilizes OpenAI's proprietary speech recognition system, Whisper, which has proven to be highly accurate. As for Gemini, since it is used under Chrome app on a mobile device, the input and output are controlled by Chrome. At the user's discretion, the input could be text via typing or voice via microphone. The output is in text, but then the Chrome microphone can read it aloud. This approach is actually the same as on PC and allows the user to have complete control. This is a very practical approach for all users. At present,
Copilot imposes a daily chat limit of approximately 150 to 200 chats in total, and a maximum of 20 chats per session. This limitation necessitates frequent re-logins, which disrupts the user experience. Chat GPT Plus also has some limits on the number of chats. Chat GPT, Gemini and Gemini Advanced, however, do not have specific daily chat limits or the number of turns in each chat session. Unlike Gemini and the Copilot family, Chat GPT is not connected to the internet. However, Chat GPT Plus automatically includes the browsing feature, so it has access to the internet as well. As such, Chat GPT is the only major chatbot that is not connected to the internet currently. Despite their merits, both the Chat GPT app and Copilot have room for improvement in their smartphone application. This presents opportunities for other chatbot app developers to innovate. However, these developers lack their search engines, making Google the most notable player in this field. How Google's AI chatbot will perform on smartphones is yet to be seen. There are plenty of opportunities for Google to make its mark in this arena. We await these advancements with anticipation. Hope you find this video informative and useful. Please subscribe to this channel so you are well informed about the best ideas and tools available for new YouTubers. As a subscriber, you can request private videos or playlists by emailing us at ytandsmarttechs at gmail.com. That's all for today. Catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.